in this section we'll learn how to do many 3d plots so if you come to plot and go to 3d there are so many things that you can do visually and for this lecture we'll learn how to do scatter 3d plot so before we begin let's generate some data first let's add some columns so add new columns yes and let's say let's add 10 and let's call this so we have x y z you need three axes to plot in 3d so let's generate some data in the x-axis so you select your right click and then go to fill column with a set of numbers let's choose one to thousand and make them repeat and set repeat times for each to be one and you generate one to thousand let's come to y right click fill columns with a set of numbers and choose one to thousand increment of one just choose random and it will provide random numbers let's do same for z right click fill column with a set of numbers let's make it one to ten thousand but this time also random and there you go so you have x y and z let me also save this project let's save it as 3d and i'll attach my sheet as a resource to this lecture so in case you want to plot what i have that is fine so let's select all columns come to plot and then go to 3d and go to scatter and you have something nice like this so you can you can select it and choose this icon and hold hold your left mouse key button or key and you can rotate it around and you can see that your points have been plotted here if this is too crowded we can also maybe plot a little maybe one to ten maybe this will make it interesting and go to so you have it here plotted in 3d and you can see here you can also come to object manager and check xy position so you can see this is your xy and you can see where your data points are you can also check the xz and then check xyz so yeah that is that is how interesting this is so this is basic but you don't want to represent your data this way so you can first double click on an empty side and it will bring you to the layer properties so if you don't want a white background or you can maybe choose a light background if you want if you want to choose something else it's up to you and change the transparency to whatever that you need it to be so yeah so you can play with these add border stuff and make it nice you can also change your size and play with these um, display speed you can change your axis and then the plane so you can come to the xy plane if you want grid lines if you don't want grid lines you can remove them if you want grid lines you can change the position you can add color to it so let's say you can make it colorful if you want 
here you can also do same for the other axis and you can also change um, the the shape so if if you want a whole cube so it's a cube but you don't have a whole cube so you can change this to a whole cube and then change maybe the thickness to my favorite three and you can even make it dashes if you want also you can change the colors there's a border colors um, yeah you can also change the colors for this as well and change the style and all so this this can be interesting with what you want to do with it you can stack it and also add some lightning so yeah you have this you can add some lightning to it so let's say you want to add a lightning of purple to it so you can play with these and make your your graph very spectacular so that is it with the layer but you can also select your point and edit your plot so let's start with line you can if you want to connect with two lines you can select that and it will connect lines together make it like a web and once you connect lines you can edit them as well you can also change the symbols let's deselect this you can change the symbol if you this is a 3d symbol you can make it 2d and you have it this way and you can edit them from that side i like the 3d you can change the shape to whatever that you want to a star to whatever that origin can provide for you and change the colors as well and change the transparency you can also add drop lines so you can choose x-axis y-axis z-axis and select drop lines so it adds drop lines to that so there are so many depending on what you need you can also add error bars in the x in the y in the z as well i'll show that in a minute if you want three um, vector plots and also if you want to label as we've shown before you can do that so for the error bars because let's say if you set this as you see only x error y error so you won't see z error but what you can do is you can set let's try this let's just duplicate it here and go to let's do just control v and let's make this an x set as x and let's set this as y and let's set this as y again okay y already selected and let's set this as z and let's set this as z so let's say we want to plot So I've selected two Z's and come to plot, come to 3D and select scatter plus error. So you see error in the Z direction. And you can do same for the others. That is how you get um, a scattered 3D plot and you can make many things out of it. You can customize it to however you need it for your presentation 
So thank you and see you in the next lecture.